Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about building a jungle antenna. Uh, so a jungle antenna comes from just before, just after World War II, uh, when U.S. troops were training in like the Philippines area, and they figured out how to rig up an antenna uh, so that they could transmit further, right, using their radios. So I actually looked around online to try to find other YouTube videos about how to build this so I could go out and build one, and uh, I did not see a lot of good content out there. So a jungle antenna is actually stupid simple. Uh, even a Neanderthal like me can figure out how to build one, so surely you can figure out how to do it yourself as well. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a triangle of three lengths of wire and then one on top, and then we're gonna hoist it up into a tree and connect our radio to it. That's essentially what we're doing. It's really, really easy. You only need a few tools to do it. So let's talk about how to build a jungle antenna. So the first thing you need to know is this uh, formula up here. So the formula is 936, that is the constant number. Uh, but 936 divided by your frequency equals your length in feet. Now, I don't understand all the science behind this part. Someone probably else, someone else probably does. To be honest, I don't really care. I just want what works. With a jungle antenna, you need to go in quarter wave frequencies. So you only need a quarter uh, length of that 936. So 936 divided by four is 234. Again, don't know the science behind it. Don't really care. If you do, go ahead and leave an intelligent comment below and the rest of us can be informed. But 234 divided by the frequency gives me my length in feet of each one of those triangle pieces, right? So we're gonna have three lengths on the bottom to build a triangle, right, like a pyramid and then one length coming out the top, okay? So each one of these lengths needs to be 234 divided by my frequency equals my length. So once I get that number, I multiply it by 12. That's how many inches I'm gonna cut each length to, okay? Keep in mind when you do your frequency, like if your frequency is 151.008, you know, you're gonna take 234 divided by 151.008 you know, 008. It's not 151008, right? That'll, that'll screw up your calculations. So just remember your frequency is point whatever it is, okay? 436.018 or whatever, okay? That's your formula. Once you do that, again, pretty simple from there. You cut four lengths of wire all to the same length, okay? You're gonna make a pyramid shaped bottom here and one coming up the top. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I just use a Cobra head, which is, uh, has two places to connect wires to on the top and the bottom here. Red goes up, remember, heat rises. That's how I remember that, okay? So my three lengths for the bottom, three lengths which formed my ground plane are gonna come to the bottom. My one length going up the top is gonna connect to the red one, okay? From there, this has a BNC adapter and that's what I'm gonna connect my coaxial cable to, okay? So we have our, our, our uh, Cobra head here. That's what we'll connect our coax to. That'll go over to our little radio. That's my radio. I hope you think it looks nice. So once we've assembled this antenna, we are gonna cut uh, a triangle for forming the base of that pyramid too. So we have our pyramid of wire, right? Coming down in three strands. And then we're gonna cut a triangle to just connect each one of those ends to to kind of hold its shape. Okay, the triangle, super simple. Whatever you cut these lengths of wire to, you find three sticks, you cut them to the same length, and then you attach, you build a base triangle. You can use some zip ties, some tape, some paracord, whatever, doesn't really matter. Just make yourself a base, and then you're going to attach your bottom lengths of wire to that triangle. When you do that, you just need to insulate between that base and your wire, okay? I typically use some plastic bag, uh, just like a, a piece of plastic bag. I just rip it off and that's my insulator, okay? Same thing, you need to insulate it on the top. So all ends of the wire you're gonna insulate with a plastic bag or a glass, piece of glass will work or a uh, marine, uh, marine spoon, uh, spoon from an MRE will work, whatever. Just something so that doesn't transmit electricity. Paracord actually does, I guess, when wet. It's, a, it's a conductive, so don't use that. But you get the idea, some kind of uh, insulator on the ends. On the top wire, you're gonna attach your paracord there. That will go over a tree. This is my tree, okay? Some branch in a tree. And you're gonna hoist up your piece, uh, your now newly made antenna up into the tree, 
okay? Make sure you connect your coax cable before you hoist that thing up into the tree. That'll make your life easier. Your coax cable in general, I guess, you don't wanna go longer than 18 feet, okay? But after you get that sucker hoisted up into the tree, uh, you can plug it in your radio and that's when you're ready to party. I tested this out with some guys and with a handheld radio that had about 10 watts of power in it, we were reaching out to about eight miles uh, to someone who was in a truck driving uh, and they had a 50 watt radio in their truck and they were drove about eight miles away now you know maybe there was some play there with their radio between if they, we would have been able to reach a handheld or whatever right so again lots of science there my point is it significantly increases your range to be able to throw one of these up and they're super light super simple they stay hidden the only downside here is that a jungle antenna transmits in all directions. So that means anybody within that circumference is gonna be able to pick you up, right? Anybody in that eight miles. Now, that could be a good thing if that's what you're trying to accomplish, but if that's not what you wanna accomplish, then you'll have to build a different antenna, like a directional antenna, and we'll maybe get to that at some point on this channel. But just know that a jungle antenna is incredibly easy to build, they are incredibly effective, and you should absolutely get out there and try to build a jungle antenna and have one of your buddies again, get in a car and start driving and make contacts with them along the way until you can't anymore because you are gonna get a lot of juice out of this for very little work. Uh, high, high work, high re low work, high reward, however you wanna say that, but definitely a skill set you should have in your toolbox so that if you ever need to uh, punch out there with radio comms, you can do it. Hope that's helpful. Try it, let me know how it works. Do brave deeds and endure.